ctv.com has more information for you and on youtube.com forward slash channels web you can watch our videos you can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the channels tv app for android ios and windows devices from their respective stores Besides giving you access to news updates on the go, the Channels TV and Channels 24 app has an eyewitness feature that you can use to share pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and then follow the instructions. One of the senators who left the All Progressives Congress in the National Assembly, Senator Olariwaju Tejuosho, representing Ogun State, has said that even though he's defected from the All Progressives Congress, he's yet to decide on his political home. The senator, who was part of the 14 senators who left the ruling APC, says his defection is a fallout of his perceived unfair treatment by the party at the state level. He added that the party is not living up to the goals and aspirations of its followers. 15 APC senators left APC, but not to PDP. Different parties, but they just said PDP. So, so somebody like me, I haven't decided, um, I mean, the party I'm going to. So, but all I know is um, the APC that I, uh, that I, that I wanted to be, in my state, it's not the APC that is happening now. So that's why I decided to leave because I don't think I'm wanted there as of today. And um, I mean, I'm a senator of a party in a state. I mean, if you don't know what's going on with your party, obviously, like my friend said, I've been given a red card. Because there's, I mean, even we had a convention recently, or uh, Congress. I mean, I didn't know the chairman was, uh, I didn't know the people to be elected were. So, I mean, I, we just uh, uh, saw that we have a chairman and we have, uh, so, I mean, I'm not carried along with what's going on in the party. Meanwhile, the president has reacted to the massive defection of APC lawmakers to the People's Democratic Party, and he says he's fully committed to the values of democracy, freedom of choice, as well as total willingness to work with all members of the National Assembly, irrespective of their political inclinations. President Buhari is also wishing all the DCAMPs the best in their future undertakings. President Muhammadu Buhari explains that none of the defecting lawmakers of the All Progressives Congress had any specific grievances against him or the government he leads, neither does he harbor anything against any of them. He says, quote, as the saying goes, all politics is local. We understand that some of the distinguished and honorable lawmakers have issues with their home states, especially on zoning, which bars some of them from seeking another term in their constituencies, end of quote. The president added that the APC had done its best to stop the defections and commended the leadership of the party for relentlessly working for its unity and ensuring success in the upcoming elections. He also gave members of the APC the assurance of his support and urged party faithful not to despair, but to see the defections as a seasonal occurrence that happens on election eve. He expressed confidence that no harm or injury will be done to the party and its aspirations by the movement. Meanwhile, the presidency has distanced President Buhari from all investigations being carried out by security agencies in the country. The presidency explained that the president is not the one who directs security agencies on what to do and that they work independently in line with the provisions of the constitution. He asked the accused persons to approach the court to plead their innocence rather than going to the public to plead persecution. Staying with the unfolding events of the day, the leadership of the People's Democratic Party has condemned the siege laid at the residence of the Senate President, Dr. Bukala Saraki, and his deputy, Senator Ike Ekweremaru, by security operatives. The spokesperson of the PDP, Mr. Kola Olobodion, is appealing to Democrats to stand up and condemn what he termed intimidation of people who are opposed to the ideologies of the ruling All Progressives Congress. This morning, Nigerians were awake to a horrendous political situation in which the President of the Senate, Senator Bukola Saraki, and the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ekweremadu, were placed under house arrest. Fortunately, the President of the Senate was able to find his way to the National Assembly. However, as we speak, 
we are unaware of the fate that has befallen the Deputy President of the Senate. The People's Democratic Party condemned in very strong terms the resort to arrest, harassment, intimidation by the government of the All Progressives Congress and President Muhammadu Buhari. We want Nigerians to note the, the, the resort to intimidation by this government. And we urge all Democrats all over the world to condemn this act by the APC and President Mohamed Bari. More on the National Assembly defections. The majority leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, is questioning the legality of the defection of the APC members to the People's Democratic Party. Honorable Bajabi Amila explained that contrary to reports that the party has lost several of its members, only a few defected to the opposition. Legality of the cross over. I think section 68 has addressed this issue. Members on the floor on both sides of the aisle tried to interpret this section the way it suits them. But unfortunately, that section has already been interpreted by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. In the case of PDB versus Abegunde, who was a member of the House of Representatives. And the meaning of division has been clearly stated by the Supreme Court. And the so-called RAPC that we kept on hearing the chanting today does not fall within the interpretation of the Supreme Court. Therefore, we will be encouraging the party to take the necessary steps. Not because we are against our member, our members, but so that we can further continue to entrench democracy. When people elect you on a particular platform to represent them, that seat does not belong to you. That, belong, that seat belongs to your constituency. So it is important that this position is stated clearly and that we put it to rest. To take a look at the dramatic turn of events today, I'm now being joined on the News at 10 by a legal practitioner, Mr. Jiti Okunye. Thanks a lot for joining us on the News at 10. Well, it's only my pleasure coming. <laughs> and what a day. Um, yes. That's what everybody seems to be saying. What's yeah. your first reaction? Surprise? Shock? No, I'm not surprised uh, at uh, today's uh, event because it's always been like this. Uh, when an election is approaching, politicians in Nigeria, and this is very sad for us, are always uh, interested in hunting for platforms and tickets. And so since the name of the game is power and not ideology or adherence to party lines or principles uh, or positions, you're going to have something like this always. Well, whenever things like this happen, we always look at the legality of it because that's where everybody turns to. You heard on Bajabi Amela, they're talking about that provision, that section 68. Let me look at the part that he was referring to, saying that a member of the Senate or House of Representatives, let's go to the part where it says, um, shall not vacate his seat in the House, provided that his membership of the latter political party is not as a result of division in the political party for which he was previously a member. And he, we talked about that whole division. Explain that for those who don't know the history of it. Well, you have Section 68 and Section 69 that follows, which dwells on recall. Section 68 uh, lists uh, the situations in which a member of a political party, sponsored by a political party, to get to either of the two houses of the National Assembly uh, may lose uh, is it. Uh, and Section 68, Subsection 1, Paragraph G, deals with defection. Uh, however, the proviso says that uh, that member will lose his seat if that defection is as a result of division in his own political party. Now, as Honorable Guayabimi Avila has rightly pointed out, that word division has been interpreted in the case of PDP and Abegunde, as he said, and what the Supreme Court is saying is that that division 
that is envisaged by that section must be a division of the party structure down the line. So the bottom line is that what has happened today, interpret what has happened today, is this legal, isn't it? Well, it depends on who is, uh, you know, looking at the legality. Those who have left will say that, well, uh, the own party to PDP didn't have this kind of situation when members of uh, the APC were defecting to the PDP. Uh, members of the PDP were defecting to the APC, you know, and that as such, uh, the RAPC that emerged is a division of that political party and that that gives them the wiggle room, uh, the enablement to defect. As it's always a, it's a question of fact whether indeed there's a division and uh, if uh, the party is dissatisfied with what has happened today, they can always sue these members uh, to ensure that they vacate their seat. Of course, you know, we have a sea of reactions to it. You saw the APC um, national chairman there saying he's not losing any sleep. Um, <laughs> do you think that should still be the case? Should they not lose any sleep at this point? Well, they lost some sleep like three, four, five days ago, uh, including the president. Uh, and I think that they're just trying to pull a bullface to it. Look, what is happening? is like what happened in 2015, uh, before the general election. Uh, and I think that what they're trying to do now is pick from the APC playbook. When the PDP uh, members uh, and their notables also defected from the PDP to the APC at that time to strengthen the APC. Now, the question uh, that one would want to ask is whether this defection can indeed affect the fortunes of the APC in the coming election. The president doesn't think so. The APC leadership doesn't think so. Time will tell. All right. Thank you so very much, legal practitioner Mr. G.T. Ogunye, for joining us on the news at yeah, 10 tonight. It's my pleasure.